<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. And welcome to Saturday, September 19th. 19th. For this week, I actually had a really good sales week. I did too. So I am very pumped about that. Yeah. I also saw some fun things. I found some teaks. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I found some teaks. This would. is my third pair. You found them in the in the bins middle of nowhere Iowa well, boxes it's my third pair and my second pair in the bins and I'm super excited I've still never found Rothy's if you guys don't know what these brands are Mega Bolos we found Teeks, fake Rothy's one time Teeks and Rothy's store. if you don't know what those are please look them up they're like the big reseller bucket list item I feel like for some they're reason like, I don't really know why they're like this generation's like comfort shoe but for some reason like that's like the big reseller like Bolo We've never put them on a list because I feel like everyone knows what they are, but yeah. like maybe some people that aren't on Instagram don't. But Rothy's and Teeks, look them up T I E K S and Rothy's. Rothy's, <laughs> Rothy's look like grandma knit shoes, and Teeks got a neon mint blue bottom. Let's jump into the What's Old Saturday? It's Old Saturday. And then, of course, after that, we will get to everybody's favorite part. We gotta do the closet shout out. The clouds, clouds, the clouds, the clouds, it highlight. And we'll so get to excited. that after What's Old Saturday. Yeah. So jumping in. There was a few days that I didn't do good because uh, I'm still a student. But other than that, we did really good. This week covers the 12th through the 18th. And the first day is the 12th. And on the 12th, I had seven sales. I had eight. <laughs> oh, actually, no. I had like 10. But I just grouped them into one. So I sold three sets of these. Mm -hmm. And there are these new tag anthropology beetle tile mug and plate sets. These were so and good. they sold for about twenty six dollars each, and so I get about twenty twenty ish on there. They kind of sold at different amounts, but they all sold on mm -hmm. the same day, so I'm kind of like rounding. Then really cute dishes though. We have a set oh for ourselves. Oh my gosh, I know we have They're four so sets. Pretty. It's like then I sold this new tag Love Shack Fancy Target dress. We are still not completely out of these, Please so you will be seeing for these oh for a couple God. more weeks coming Please. forward. Please. And <laughs> this one is the tool style and it sold for $75 and I get 60. <laughs> Next up, I sold this new tag Levi's 721 high rise pair of skinny jeans and they sold for 35 and that gave me 28. And I do want to say, oh, this I got a really, jeans. really weird feedback on this. She said, could improve on other. I got two stars. And she said, the tags seem sketchy, but otherwise I love these jeans. The heck is that supposed to mean? The tag seems sketchy. These are literally just a brand new with tag pair of Levi's. They have the tag that goes over the edge. They have the tag that hangs off. Maybe she's saying they means. were like, but like, like Levi's the tags might have got like Levi's in shipping. Levi's are made out of like recycled cardboard, so I don't know if she thinks they seem like cheap, but also like it's just a tag. Why does it matter? I don't know. You rip the tag off and throw it away anyway. As long as the pants are fine, why are you here? I anyway, know, like. <laughs> I still made my money, so who yeah. cares? Then I got, I sold this new tag Def Leopard tie-dye tee, and this sold for 25 and gave me 20. I have so many of these, and I believe medium and small, so if you want any, just let me know. I have one, and I like it. They're really soft, I will say. Then to Chris. Hello, Chris. Thank you for your purchase. Mwah. I sold, she's in New Jersey. She says, peace from New Jersey. She purchased this new tag Universal Thread Faux Sherpa Color Block Collar. I picked this up from the bins because it was quite trendy. People love the like Sherpa and stuff. It was so soft. It was. And so it sold for 20 or $10 and I get $7.05. <laughs> and I mean, obviously it sold that cheap because it's a scarf from Target. It was, cute it was cute. It was cute. It was in the bin, so who cares? A little fun winter accessory, which I feel like you would need in New Jersey. New Jersey. Then I saw this pair of Lucky Brand brown leather booties and the basil strikes again. I cannot sell these. My I don't know why. favorite boots. They sold for $50 and that gave me $37.88. And then Amanda. Hi, Hello, Amanda. Amanda. I have I a cousin named Amanda and she's like terrible way the that. best. I love her so much. For $70, she purchased this new tag Free People Lavender Split Sweatshirt. That was so, Ooh. so cute. We love a good sweatshirt. 
and this free people keyhole gray burnout top and like i said it sold for 70 dollars, and i get 56 and she said that she loves our videos so thank you oh, for thank watching you, i hope that you're here right now those free people t-shirts are so popular it's and called the jordan tee and she also said keep making them they are getting me through my sleepless nights with my newborn so Aww. good luck with your newborn but also that's so cute okay so my first on the 12th was this arcteryx men's quarter zip base layer these do pretty well for me they don't sell for a ton but they sell very fast they sold for 30 i made it 24. arcteryx is a total arcteryx bolo is so expensive yeah retail oh my god um next was this aritzia tna spell out logo black hoodie this i'm shocked that i think it was like a store display so I don't know how this ended up being donated, but that's fine. Sold for 35, I made it 28. Then that I sold, cute. It was really cute though. It was really soft. Then I sold this Carhartt vintage stonewashed gray button down. I sold for 30, I made it 24. Then I sold this vintage Columbia camo hooded windbreaker. Sold for 40, I made 32. Then I sold a bundle of two lovely Urban Outfitters sweaters to the lovely Kendra. So Kendra, thank you for buying them. I hope you love them. She got this Urban Outfitters gray cable knit chunky sweater and this Urban Outfitters chunky gray v-neck sweater. I really had a panic attack. I thought they were gonna be the same title. Thank God they weren't. Very close. <laughs> uh, bundle sold for 60, I made 48. And then Charlie got two more sweaters from me. She got a new tag, Urban Outfitters Kimchi Blue Bobble Sweater, and then this new tag, Anthropology Sleeping on Snow Cabled Sweater. Super cute with the like really fun elbow patches, loved it. Sold for 75, I made 60. And then I sold these Free People Zebra Printed Skinny Pants. These sold for 28, I made 22.40. Then I sold another bundle of a Barefoot Dreams Striped Calypso Wrapped Cardigan and a Boho Hippie Tie-Dye Blouse Medium. Sold for $50, I made 40. So then on the 13th, I had six sales. I had four. First off was this Rebecca Taylor silk patchwork drawstring dress. Love. I love selling Rebecca Taylor. It is one of the like mid to high slash high end designer. She's expensive, but like obtained. Brands that actually sells really well in posh where like there's some like 10 Crosby, Dirk Lamb and 3.1 Philip Lamb that like keep their value in no way. But then Rebecca Taylor comes in and she says, hi, I keep my value. She really says. So so this sold for 50 bucks and I get 40. So if you see Rebecca Taylor, definitely listen on Posh. Don't send it to the real real. No, don't like don't do sign that it. nonsense. Nothing like that. Put it on po Even the older stuff with the little like the metal size mm -hmm. tags, that stuff sells really well. Then Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. She purchased this J. Crew fringe cable knit colorful scarf and this American Eagle blue eyelet kimono. And they sold for 35 and that gave me 28 And she said she loves them, so I'm so happy to hear that. Glad Maggie. you love them. Then, for my own personal collection, I sold this vintage Gucci patent mini backpack for 115 oh, and I got 92 So this had quite a bit of wear to it. That's why it sold for only 115 She's vintage. I purchased this when I first restarted re when I first started reselling mm -hmm. because I just wanted to have a bougie backpack and it had <laughs> so much backpack. wear that I never actually used it. It just was like, again, kind of like I've said in the past, like a trophy. Yeah. I literally had it up on the wall. And so, yeah, I just listed, I listed it for 130 maybe. And Something. she offered 115. I almost thought I listed it for 115, That's but I think I listed it for 130 and she sent 115. So then I sold this pair of Anthropology Pilcro lemon print flare jeans and they sold for 70 dollars. And so I get 53.88. I've seen so cute, multiple though. people pick these up on Instagram and I've actually seen them before. I think at a consignment store and I almost bought them and I didn't, but then when I finally got them, I was like, this is destiny. Oh, I, got them. I remember those ones at the consignment store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the consignment store. Then from my own personal collection, once again, it was this pink dolphin camo crew neck sweatshirt and it sold for $25 and it gave me 20 This is like a not super expensive streetwear brand. It's, and I, It's funky though. Like it's I cute. I found it... I think it like a Goodwill. You found a Goodwill back And I just old. was like, oh, it's cute. And I did wear it a few times, mm -hmm. but whatever. Then I sold this Athleta Merino wool V-neck ribbed sweater. I do find that I have decent luck with Athleta sweaters. The sweaters still do so good, especially if it's like a little newer. Yeah. This door. was kind Instant. of 
I think this was like 2015, but like not too old. It sold for 30 bucks and gave me 24, but again, it was like merino wool. So it was an expensive one. And that's it for the 13th. Okay, so my first on the 13th was this pair of new tag Free People and Levi's black busted knee jeans. They sold for 48, I made 38.40. Then I sold this new tag Zara pleated round neck blouse, sold for 20 with a shipping discount. I wanted to get rid of this because I hate Zara. Uh, sold for 13.8 or sold for 20 shipping discount, I made 13.88. Then I sold a Adidas Originals California Windbreaker Medium. This was from my collection, I just didn't wear it anymore. From your collection went to my collection. When and then it went right. back to my collection <laughs> and then it went to this dude. Um, it sold for 40 with a shipping discount, I made 29.88. Then I sold this pair of Lucky Brand Cognac Leather Heel Booties. These are not the Basel Booty. I don't know the name of them. Uh, 30 with a shipping discount. I made $21.88. So then on the 14th, I had three sales. I had one. So the first one, this is why on the last video, Ryan included his like kitschy Halloween slash fall stuff. Yeah. Because it does good. This type of stuff does do really good around the holiday. It definitely mm -hmm. don't get it all year. No. But if no, it's no, like, no, if no, you no. are like a month or two out from the holiday. you find it in like August, it can you're probably good. good to go ahead and listen. So I sold this vintage Halloween denim chambray button top and it sold for 36 bucks and gave me 26.68. It had like pumpkins and a cat at the bottom and it had like a witch and a moon at the top. It was like a vintage fun like holiday thing. It was so cute. Those always do super well. Especially if they're like not super like thick denim shirts. I think people want to wear them to like office parties and mm -hmm. stuff. Then I sold this pair of brand new AGL embroidered metallic chunky sandals and they sold for $60 and gave me $48. I so would probably put AGL on a no low because this is the cutest. It does awful. This is the cutest pair of AGLs I've ever seen, and they have sat for a good year. At Even least. the like the classic. So. I think the ones that people really like are the stretchy ones. They'll still do terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard AGLs are popular because they're comfort. I might give them to Janet. I have a pair that Janet yeah. tried on, and she really liked them, and so I might give those to her. Yeah, like here. And she doesn't go to the office anymore, so she doesn't have anywhere to wear them either. <laughs> True. And my last one on the 14th was this pair of Free People and Levi's 721 High Rise Skinny Jeans, and they sold for 50 and gave me 40. A lot of Free People Levi's on the 14th. Okay. People are or looking for jeans that week. right now. So my one and only on the 14th, because I was so busy with homework, I remember so vividly, I had so much stuff I had to get listed, and I just didn't list any of it. It was great. <laughs> Uh, I sold the Sim Edelman Bianca Gray Faux First Live for $20. I made 16 So the 15th, I think, was my worst day all week, and I had only one. Okay. Oh, my oh, one no. sale was this meh. New Tag Anthropology Mave Seamed Origami Poplin Dress. It sold for $35 and gave me $28. I've had this for, like, two years. Was this the New Tag one? I remember this. I've had this so long. So 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 long this is probably in the top five longest Your oldest, oldest whatever you want to call it listings that i have and so mm -hmm. <laughs> when i got this offer she gone out booted so, out of the door so frisbee thrown she could have sent me like <laughs> she could have sent me like 15. low-key i probably would have been like bye when it's old, ugh, I just don't want to look at it. Oh my it gosh, when it's been there that long, I'm just like, I get out of my need house. you to leave my life. Now. Oh my God, this is, it's not you, it's me. Get out. Yeah, it's you, <laughs> it's not me. Bye. So my one on the 15th was luckily a hundred dollar bundle. So happy about that. It was two sweaters. It was a- I'm so <laughs> bad on the 15th, I sold a hundred dollars. It was this tie-dye Zara sweater, sweatshirt, dress, crew neck, small. That's what the bloggers called it. So that's what I called it. It was a legitimate, just like sweater, like a regular sweater. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> and this Free People Time and Again Chunky Knit Cardigan. I think, I think, I think this might've been in part one of the fall. The fall, the fall haul, yeah. So it's for hundred dollars, I made 80. Before we start, on the 16th, I had six sales and actually- I made three. I don't like to do them too often, but- <gasps> I ran a sale and whenever I do a sale, it's half off two plus items in a bundle. And I did this not because I was desperate for sales. We have too much. I have not had bad sales this week. We have so much stuff. 
Oh, I overshot, guys. It's a problem. Here's the secret. We, we have, have like way too much things. Like, like we have, I have so. Much I have no stuff. open inventory spots, and I have an IKEA. I have a Hulkin bag full of stuff I need to put away. In our living room right now, we have like three IKEA bags worth of stuff just <laughs> in sitting, in my waiting direct to be put into inventory. But we don't have inventory spots open to put them in. And we have no room to add more inventory bins. No. So here's the secret that we're gonna let you in on right now. I ran a sale on Instagram. Since I did an Instagram sale, it's only fair that I do a sale for you guys. So until 11.59 p.m. Central Time on Sunday as in tomorrow, mm -hmm. if you make a bundle in my closet or in Ryan's of two or more items, we will send you half off and 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 for you guys. If you're interested in something from mine oh, yeah. and something from Ryan's or multiple from mine, multiple from his, we'll figure it out. you can email or send a DM and we mm -hmm. will give you half off Do that way. Out. So you can combine closets. Yes. We have so much stuff. Please so if you want to take it, it away, Please take it away. And yourself. we will give you a good deal because <laughs> we try to do half off as little as possible only when we're in desperate situations like this. Because so, like we don't make a ton of money. Obviously we still make money because we don't pay a ton for this stuff. Oh, trust me, when we do these half off sales, our profit margin is cut so slim. But that's okay. But that's okay right <laughs> we now. We still make money because, because things, like, and stuff. things need to go. Yeet. So if you're interested, you can go do that. You have about... 28 hours yeah to do that sure. so go make a if you want to no pressure just if you want to we would love to give you some things anyways on the 16th like i said i had six and i did run my little like desperation sale <laughs> and the first sale this was before i started the discount it was this moschino paint logo graphic sweatshirt this was from my own personal collection Obviously. We love Obviously. this is a mosquito house. I mean, come <laughs> not today, but like that's fine. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and it sold for 135, and it gave me 108. Then I sold this pair of Lululemon Lou 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 Lemon print high waist leggings and they sold for 30 and that gave me 24. then this is when my sale began that's why she kicked in this sale was like two minutes after i posted it this free people peplum layered zip hoodie and this new tag free people and levi's 710 skinny jean sold for 53 at half off and that gave me 4240 and thank you ellie for that purchase i hope you enjoy it Mwah. i was born female my, you would have been my name was gonna be Ellie, so that's really interesting. I'm almost positive mine would have been Tannis, which I'm kind of upset about. That my sounds brother, so fun. My brother was gonna be Ruby, which is such a cute name. Such a cute So then my next sale was again part of my discount, and it was this new tag Madewell Velvet Blue Wrap Bodysuit oh, that, that I- Oh, the softest velvet. I typed in Biddy Suit. <laughs> And oh my gosh, it's so cute. This new tag free people stitch it up thermal top. <gasps> that name's ugly. The top was cute. So the name cute. That's a no. And it sold to Natalie and she bought a high high anthropology <gasps> little red riding oh, hood. She got that coat. coat from me. Natalie, you got good taste, homegirl. <gasps> So Damn. cute. She has just based off these three things, she has such a cute closet. Like at home, her personal Imagine closet. Imagine those are the only three things she owns. <laughs> Stunning. Stunning. Natalie, you need pants. <laughs> she probably has pants. At half off, these sold for $59 and I get $47.20. Then another really cute bundle for my sale. Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. She purchased this Urban Outfitters new tag kimchi blue space dye eyelash sweater, which I had just listed earlier this week. So she was quick to snatch that up. And this new tag Anthropology Dolce Vita Croc embossed pair of boots, which were part of the fall part one. So cute. So high quality. I love them. Dolce Vita. I think they're called the Hiking Colton boot. Oh, good quality so good. shoes. Um, and half off, they sold for 86 and I get 68 80 
Then another bundle from Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. This mod cloth plaid square print cardigan, this which good for you, Sarah, because that I popular. listed this. That was a and popular in, little cardigan. In 24 hours, it's got like eight likes. So like, okay. Pop off, Sarah. <laughs> and then she also got this North Face black fleece full zip jacket. This also got like five likes in the first day. And so for half off, she got them for 38 and I get 30. 40. What a bargain. Good for you, Sarah. Then that was the end okay. of the 16th for me. My first on the 16th was this new tag Love Shack Fancy Target de Tallulah white mini dress. It sold flat out. She just bought it. 60 big ones. $48 is what I made. Do you see a head pop up randomly like that? Ooh. It's Mike. He's sitting Like on I said on the second channel, Mike doesn't like when his eyes face the light. So, so that's he why he's not in too many videos. He sits videos, under the table we sit on. <laughs> he sits in front of the off? light and faces us. Next was this new tag frame. A black linen ruffle long sleeve t-shirt. I do have this and I believe a blue and a white, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, extra small sold for 28 I made twenty two forty. Mike, pull your shirt up, dude. Mike has a nice Halloween. He's just like his papa. He has a Halloween t-shirt. That... <laughs> the pumpkin face getting a little stretched out. <laughs> That's okay. Then I saw this Lululemon gray white ladder back long sleeve. I couldn't find this on Lulu Fanatics. I kind of gave up. I just listed it and it sold within 15 minutes. So not mad. Uh, sold for 28. I made 22.40. So then on the 17th, I had five. I had six. So my first one was this pair of Nubatag Reformation black starry tie pants. They were just called the starry. There were no stars on them, which ugh. I don't know why. This was in the fall part two. These sold for one fifteen. Reformation. If you don't know Reformation, it's a mega bolo. And Very. the fun thing is, though, is that like half the time you just charge retail. Yeah. Like I had a well, tank top and I got a Nordstrom rack one time. And half the time it's like not that interesting. No. Like black pants. One hundred and fifteen. The, the tank top retailed for I think it was like fifty eight dollars, and I marked it up to sixty eight, and yeah. she just bought it. Yeah. So then I did ninety two. So. Yeah, so I that's, like, you know, that's a fun little, fantastic. fun little find. Then I saw this torrid red rolled sleeve blazer for 32 and that gave me 2560 Then I believe that this went, I believe this went to a viewer. So if you're a viewer, one nerdy llama purchased this. That name sounds that's her very username. familiar. I sold these Dansko felt textured black clogs and they sold for 35 and gave me twenty five eighty eight and one nerdy llama there on the way. So I hope that you like them. I hope you love them. And then I sold this pair of Nike logo green striped joggers and they sold for 20 and that gives me 16. Up next, Mariah actually <gasps> accepted. <Harry. laughs> she accepted. <laughs> she just goes, you. <laughs> she accepted the offer from when I was having the sale the day before, the next day. And so she got this new tag ASOS Levi's Stormtrooper Star Wars tee oh, with this so Anthropology Akemi and Ken lace batwing top. So cute. And I've had it twice now. It's one of my favorite anthro pieces. That's a good top. For half that off, really they well. sold for 40 bucks, and that gives me 32 then I saw this Anthropology Holding Horses blue print button top with this Anthropology Dolan ruffle black top. And together they sold for 37 and you gave me a 29.60. And that's it for my 17th. Okay, my first for the 17th was this pair of Madewell Ollie Olive Green High Rise Pants, size 29. They, the pants were called the Ollie and they were Olive. I don't know who Ali Olive is, but that's kind of a fun name. They sold for $30, I made 24. Then I sold this Zoe Carson French graphic V-neck mm. sheer t-shirt medium. So this is a case of the, we don't know the brand, but we saw the label and it looked expensive and we Googled it. And I also sure enough it was. can't pronounce her last name. Carson? I've been Carson, put, is that hard of a name I've been putting the R in front of the A the entire time. Like Zoe Kras. It would still be Crasson. Neither of those are difficult names. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well. So Art for... teacher. No, not English. Art teacher. <laughs> not we English. need like a new animation for any time Ryan fails at like math or English and we can just go, Art teacher, everybody. <laughs> oh no. I'm also horrible with kids' names, so 
this isn't this shouldn't be a surprise. And subtraction and addition <laughs> and multiplication and me. division and algebra. I feel so bad. I had one science, I had biology, one little girl, she was a sixth grader. Oh, I'm so bad at astronomy because there's not a math in it. I had a little sixth grader and I always called her Pam. Her name was Angela. And I don't know why, but like the first day of attendance I heard Pam and I was always like, Pam, and I was like, Is that not your name? When I had to do roll one day and she's like, No, my name's Angela. And I was like, You didn't tell me the entire year? I worked with, I was with this girl for like six weeks and she didn't bother to tell me that I had her name wrong. So just a humbling little, a humbling little experience. Sold for $32, I made I hope y'all are enjoying some nice wine. Cause I feel like this is, this is, this is all gonna Sorry, require it to go oh. through. Next on the 17th, I sold this J. Crew Point Sir Black Mock Neck yarn sweater. I picked this up because the thrift store undermarked it. They priced it at $349 and I had a coupon. So a coupon. A coupon. I have uh, every coupon that Goodwill can ever have. I have a coupon that Bath & Body Works has ever had. Uh, sold for $20, I made 16 Then I sold this Boutique Army Green Distressed Lace Side Sweater Large. Um, this was under the video where we said like, fun, not great brand sweaters that are really cute and trendy, and this is one of them. Uh, sold for 18 I made $14.40. And then I sold a lovely little bundle of this Anthropology Moth Zipped Stitch Cream Pullover and this Free People Crea, Crea, C R E A, drippy ribbed mock neck tank top. Ribbed, the whole mm -hmm. video. Sold for 65, I made 52, and that do be it. Okay, and then on the 18th, I had eight sales. I had three. So I ended the week with a boom. <laughs> Anyways, oh, my, boom goes to dynamite. <laughs> my first one was this new tag Draper James Berry Floral Tied Wrap Top. I low-key love Draper James. Sold like for 25 bucks. That was an offer. And so I get 20. I had it listed at like 45, but I want to get rid of some <laughs> Do you see stuff. a theme here? <laughs> yeah. We need to move it out oh. of the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Basically, all of them on the 18th are like... I think that's a good thing. I will we, take anything. It's like, okay. Then I saw this, except this one. This one was a really good sale. This Anthropology Geisha Designs. That is a anthropology brand, if you do not know. It's called Very Geisha or Geisha? I Geisha? think they're called Geishas. Geisha Designs. Like, floral skirt. And it sold for $60 and gave me 48 It looked like a scarf around your waist. It was, it was one of so those like cute. asymmetrical ones where it had like four like longer mm -hmm. points, two in the front, two in the back. It was so pretty. So here is an example of a, I will take whatever. I sold this Levi's 710 skinny jeans, new tag, and Levi's 711 skinny jeans, new tag. I had them both listed at about 55 and she sent me 58 so she basically almost got my half off sale price. Yeah. And I took it because we have okay. no no room for no. pants. And I have like, a lot you of, talk I have about, a lot of Levi's. You want to talk about no room? Pants. Yeah. We they are sitting in front of their respective piles. <laughs> it is not a good situation. So then I will get forty six forty. Then this is an offer that I sent out. These Nike logo club leggings sold for thirty two and gave me twenty three forty eight. Any Nike. Nike stuff with logos all over it or Adidas so with good. logos all over it. Please get it. It, it does is so good. good. Not the the little like the not the three stripe Adidas. No. The Adidas original stuff with logos and then the Nike stuff that has a logo. I was gonna say Nike doesn't have to. Not just logo. like a swoosh on the arm though. Like it says Nike and there's like a big swoosh mm -hmm. or whatever. Those ones that go like up the leg. Yeah. On the leggings. Those do good. Then I sold this pair of good American acid wash gray good waist jeans for seventy dollars and give me fifty six. These I think were like a sample. Because the, fab the fabric tag was handwritten, which was really weird. Color Kardashian was like, new jeans. <laughs> yeah. Ask mom, question mark. So I listed those high because I thought they were a sample and they sold pretty high. It's too. a really cute so wash too. That's good. Then this kind of took me by surprise. This was an offer from the buyer. It was a good price for these Anthropology Pilcro striped glitter jeans. So for 45 and gave me 36. I got these from a consignment store for like six bucks, I think. So that's a pretty good flip. For not a ton. And then I sold this COS, C-O-S, that is H&M's like expensive line. If you Dance do not know, we put this on a bolo. <laughs> I put this on a bolo, I think, back when it was just me making videos. Mm -hmm. Get COS, if you see it, C-O-S. It's expensive. It's COS, expensive. not back, wool gray sweater, it's over 26 and give me 20, 80. I list COS around 40 to 50, depending on the piece. And this was <laughs> it to my mom. another example of like, <laughs> I want to move as much out as exactly. I can. Exactly. And last was <laughs> like my lowest set. 
It was this IKEA Rainbow Pride medium tote bag and it sold for 10 bucks and gave me 705. My first on the 18th, I had three, if I forgot to mention, went to the incomparable Caitlin. Caitlin, I hope you enjoy your bundle. Her Instagram handle is mix with an N match styles. So, so cute. She got this Pusheen, which if you don't know, the Pusheen stuff, he's that fun little cat. It sells so well, so well. Um, a Pusheen out of the office turquoise hooded rain jacket, a custom upcycled denim jacket, hippie boho large. If you follow me on Instagram, this is not one of the custom jackets that I made. This is just one that I found, conveniently. And a pair of egg brown Claren knee high boots. Bundle sold for $100 with for discount shipping. So I made $77.88. Then I sold this Urban Outfitters BDG gray pocket flannel. Sold for $25. I made $20. This I listed like an hour or two ago before I sold it. So that's nice that that got out very fast. Then I sold this vintage hand carved playing card box. I went to a Goodwill. I was like, oh, fun, like cute little home things. Uh, it sold for $20. I made 16 So I'm kind of like, <clears throat> I should get more little trinkety home things because <laughs> they sell well. My gross for the week <laughs> was quite good. I grossed. I think this is my second best week I've ever done. Is it really? Hmm. At least since we've done once on Saturdays. I grossed hmm. 1,832 just from Poshmark. I had $1,032. And that's from that's doing two days. That's pretty good for you, too. That's from doing, like, two days of, like, no work. <laughs> and then my nut was 1,432 and... Thirty cents. Mine was eight sixteen seventy two. Which like I am more curious than ever. Was your week this good? Mm -hmm. Was it person by person? Did we just both happen to have a good week? Did you guys have super super good sales weeks? What's going on? Give us the tea. Is Posh advertising somewhere new? Are yours doing super well too? Did you have an even better week than us? What's Did going you have on? A worst week. Let us know how us your week was. And now. <gasps> Everyone's favorite time. Let's jump into the closet highlight for the week. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's favorite time of the What's Old Saturday, the closet highlight. And today's, today's winner, winner, this winner. week's, this week's big, I don't know about like winner, but like choice, random she selection. Won. Yeah, she won, the random, she won the random giveaway. Random selection. <laughs> is Rochelle's finds. Yay! And Rochelle said, I had so much fun watching your second channel video on Friday, closet at Rochelle's finds. So thank you, Rochelle, for not only watching this channel, but watching our second watching channel. Watching our drama and conflama of eating that god awful candy on the second She's channel. She's an icon. <laughs> Anyways, we so have cute. already been peeking at Rochelle's closet and it is so so Rochelle, you take good pictures. And she has some good deals. She that has I would some bargains. Love to alert you guys for. So first off, right away I noticed at the top, she oh. must have just shared this 55 minutes ago when we're filming this. She has this Patagonia like half or quarter snap. It's a two Is snap. this the cinchilla? No. Quarter snap fleece cream. These are like the they're popular so style. And they're and so expensive. Usually, if I had one, I would list it at like $80, 90 Oh, I do 100 bucks. Rochelle's got it for 50 And um, it's a woman small, so if you are a woman small, go buy this. It looks like it has like no flaws. It's so cute, also, and you, it would be so warm. You literally can't find these for sale under $70. No. Like, it's so hard. She also, has so many she has Madewell, Madewell jeans. Madewell for 35 Madewell jeans, and Rochelle. Everlane jeans for 35 For 35 bucks. Rochelle is like look at her bargains. She says you want to do bargains is my middle name. Like Rochelle bargains. I will finds. say I'm a huge fan of the white vintage Wrangler jeans. Those are really and her cute. shoe pictures are so good. They are on that I like that. terracotta background. That's she adorable. also has a Dion Wall surf and turf for only thirty five bucks, which again like that's good a for fantastic you, deal. But also yes, Rochelle, please comment. What do you use for your shoe? It pictures? looks like a it looks like a background. Oh, or it's is like it a desk? That's cute. I love that Ooh. color because it like the it shoe looks pops. like anthropology. Yeah, it was like anthro. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has a really cute pair of Levi's corduroys, which I guess we didn't really say anything in the trend report, but corduroys are like they they're having kinda, a moment. They've kind of been in this like whole year, and also like people love Levi's right now. So like, who's a good pair of corduroys? These should do fantastic. Good pair of cords. Yes. 
Again, with the cute shoes. <gasps> the Ooh, vintage USA jacket. And the genuine leather jacket. Oh, and she models her Look stuff. at you, Rochelle. Rochelle, cute. I have a That's leather jacket so just bougie. like this too that I have not listed yet, so you're inspiring me. I should list mine. A Levi's trucker. Like we said in like two of the trend Love videos, the you cannot jackets. beat a Levi's jacket. Mm -mm. And 45 bucks is definitely not too high of an ask. No. She's got tons of free people. That's a super good deal. Raga, which is super. <laughs> I've, had, I've had that tiny before. <laughs> wait. A lot of anthro. Wait, she wait, wait, a wait, Kate wait. Spade shirt for 28. And she has, they got a host pick and I completely understand why. That was a good host pick. These cute Ooh. vintage Polo Ralph Lauren skinny like, jeans with like embellishments all Western over them. Western looking little things on them. Those are stuff, so cute. Stuff like this from Ralph Lauren does so. That's the good stuff. The Western-y is, looking stuff that is really the stuff is. that sells so fast. So hopefully you guys will go pop on some of this stuff. You oh should. my gosh. That, go give her some posh That love. Patagonia is so. That's such a good deal. I'm literally like, that is such if a good I deal. could squeeze into a woman's small, like, I go get it. <laughs> Thank you, Rochelle, for leaving us a comment. Yes. And your closet is absolutely adorable. It's so you cute. You have Pictures really are amazing. cute stuff. Prices are out of the world. really good prices. Yeah. So please, good guys, Rochelle. go show her some posh love. And of course, please leave comments entering in to be chosen for next week's closet highlight. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us for What Sold Saturday. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. And like we said before, please let us know how your week of sales were. I would love to know. Also, if you're interested, right after this, we are having a video go up on our oh. second channel. We had to have it go up a day later this week because of external circumstances difficulties there's always something going wrong yeah so i hope you guys want to join us there we're having that go up right after this video so please join us we'll be going over there to premiere that and yeah, you can keep chatting with us that's all that we have for you today mike says hello to ryan hello Hello. We will oh. see you guys on Tuesday, on Tuesday with some more fall fun. or we'll see you right after this yeah. Otherwise, we will see you on Tuesday. So thank you for joining us. See you on Tuesday. Goodbye. Bye.